Decorate your cup up, you know what I'm saying? You got a strawberry on the top of the rim. We about to post some of this mimosa in these cups right here. We about to get on these shrimp and these grits. Yes, sir. It's about to be delicious. What? <laughs> what? Man. So, you see the kid face? I shaved it a little bit. I do got some clippers, so I shaved my face a little bit. I'm still looking a little raggedy, a little rough, because up under this wave cap. <laughs> Boy, something serious up under there, man. I need a fade. Say, whoever come over here and give me a fade, man, I'm paying you like $150 for it. I'm lying. <laughs> Okay, so bam, this is what we're doing. I just prepped the green pepper, the red pepper, and this is um, the sausage. We finna make some more shrimp and grits. Gotta make the mimosas. I go our little shrimpies. Baby peeling the shrimp right quick. You gotta clean this part out. See that brown stuff? A lot of people don't clean this. That's that boo-boo. That's that boo-boo. Clean it out. Even though shrimp is on sale. Shrimp, we have to have shrimp in this house. So this is what we're gonna use to make the butter sauce for the shrimp and grits. We have paprika. We have onion powder. We have Tony. Tony cha 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 <laughs> Thank you for that extraness. And we have some black pepper. Unsalted butter, okay? Un well, salted butter. You can use the unsalted, it really don't matter, it, it tastes the same. So you have your shrimp, and you have this. So what we're gonna be making sausage is this butter sauce. Also, hold that thought. What kind of sauce is this on? Um... And you need your minced garlic. This is very important for that flavor to come out of your butter, okay? Minced garlic. Okay. What's the sausage called? The sausage? Yeah. Andule? Yeah, andule, andule, I don't know how you say it. Andule sausage. But you got your red peppers, your green peppers. You're gonna saute that with the sausage. You're gonna use the sausage grease to marinate that, okay? And then you're gonna put in some shrimpies. Shrimpies. So what we're gonna do is put it on medium. We're gonna take Two butter sticks. Two butter sticks. Not one. Two. Two. You don't put it down a little bit, the fire down. You don't want your butter to cook too fast. So we got it on low. Just right up under low. Not low, but right up under low. Like, like right on the medium low. Medium low. I don't measure, just sprinkle a little Tony's on it, butter. Tony cha 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 this. When Paprika. people really be cooking, they don't measure. They don't. Paprika, you can use as much as you want for coloring, because it really don't have a taste. Onion powder, I always do powder and not salt, because you can use as much as you want. True, true, true. A little pepper. A black pepper. And you let that butter sit, I will be right back after these messages. Okay, so while the butter is melting, we're gonna do the red and green peppers first. You need this oil just to oil the pan a little bit to give it a little sizzle and you don't want it to stick mm -hmm. look at 
there. Get that in there. A little light drizzle. Just a light drizzle. Not too much. Just a light drizzle. And we're going to just let this pan heat up just a little bit because you want the pan heated before. And then we're going to come over here to the butter. I want to do a nice little stir. Get some of that sauce all over. Nice little sauce. This will feed two people this butter sauce for your shrimp and grits. Ooh, it's a little splashy. It's still melting slowly. Slowly, slowly. I'm cutting up the shrimp so that it'll be pieces in the shrimp and grits and they're not gonna all be whole. Just so you can have the flavor. Just a little bit. Not a lot. I'm gonna put some butter in the skillet just to give it a little flavor as well before we add the green and red peppers. It's almost. And that kind of gives you an idea of how hot your skillet is because of the butter melting fast. Just a few more moments and we will add the green and red peppers. Be right back. So now we're going to add the green and red peppers to the skillet. You're going to turn your fire down to a low. And you're going to let this get soft. gonna let it cook and I will be right back. So as the butter, come get closer. As the butter starts to melt, you're gonna add your minced garlic. Just a spoon and a half, okay? So just grab it. And you're gonna turn it down on low because you don't want your garlic to burn. And this is the butter sauce. We're gonna go ahead and season your shrimp. Some more Tony cha 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 cha. Paprika. Paprika. And onion powder. Onion powder. I don't add pepper because we don't need it. Pepper is already in the other flavors. Um, the butter sauce. And you're gonna just turn this around. While that shrimp is getting seasoned. Put a little bit more because I have a bit more. And then you're going to add it to the skillet with the sausage. And what I did was I moved the pepper around. Come look at this. I moved the pepper around so that it could fit. This way you're cooking all your ingredients at once. You're not burning up the kitchen. Make sure you get a big cast iron skillet. These are the best. This is the oversized. And you just put your shrimp piece right there. And let them cook. We're gonna, in the meantime, the grits are already cooking. We're just stirring up the butter sauce. You're gonna add this butter sauce to the shrimp. Just put it on top like that. A little drizzle. A little drizzle. Give it a little flavor. Also, you're gonna start adding your sausage. Now it's sausage time. They don't have to cook a long time, so that's why they go last. 
And the damn the dice shrimp, I don't add any season to it. It's going into the grits and it's already seasoned. So there we go. Let that cook. Let that cook. Spread your sausage out. And the grease that's going to be used on the sausage is going to be the topping grease. The topping grease. It's so good. So good. And while that is doing its thing, I'm turning the butter sauce off because I don't want it to overcook. See the Cut. it smells so good. A little wafted in my face. Is that the word you say? Waft? Is that even a word? I don't know. Now you're gonna be making the bacon. This is for the topping. I always use fresh bacon for the topping. Once we plate the shrimp and grits, the bacon will crumble on top. Crumble the bacon, give you that flavor. <laughs> yes, sir. Add the grits. They're already done. Added salt, pepper, butter. And we're going to take the sausage and we're going to add it to the grits. Sausage, the diced shrimp, green peppers, red peppers. You're adding it to the grits. You're going to use the big shrimp to top it off at the end. That's going to go on the top. These are green onions. They go on the top. These gonna go on the top at the end. So good, so good, so good. That's all the juice you need right there. You gotta use the whole the whole bottle of champagne. Drop some of them strawberries in the top. Let them sit in there and marinate. I added some mimosas. And this is the finished product. We have cheesy shrimp and grits with sausage and bacon, buttery grits, and here you go. Chef T. Mm, mm, mm. It's about to go down. <laughs>